I recently did a video on a simple blow-by test on a diesel engine and some people commented, well, I thought you were supposed to do this hot. I thought you were supposed to do this cold. I thought you were supposed to do this with a car parked on a slope. Well, you know, there's all kinds of different ways to do a blow-by test. And in this video, I want to show you the difference between doing it hot and doing it cold and some of the reasons why you would want to use one or the other. Now, right now, the engine's cold. And you can see the cap is just barely moving. You know, I can see a little bit of smoke coming out, so I've got a little bit of blow-by with the engine cold. Now, some have said, well, I thought you were supposed to plug the breather when you do this test. Well, let me plug the breather. All right, now you're getting more dance, okay? Now, remember, this is an old diesel engine. We're not talking about new engines. We're not talking about recently rebuilt diesels. This is about doing a blow-by test on a really old diesel with 200,000 plus miles to determine whether or not it's got any life left in it. And this is a quick test. The real test comes from doing a compression test. So you can see the difference. Here's the engine cold, slight movement. Here's the breather plug, a little more dance. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go out and drive the car for about 15 minutes and then we'll come back and test it again. accelerate okay I'm back from a 15 minute run around the patch here the engine is up to full operating temperature let's go ahead and loosen up the cap now and see what happens all right look at that no difference just very slight movement with the engine right up to 180 degrees now let's go ahead and plug the breather All right, we're getting a little more dance. See that, just a little bit more dance and a little bit more smoke with the breather plugged and the engine hot. Now let's try something for the fun of it. I'm gonna get in the car and put it in gear and load the engine. And let's just see if we get any more cat dance right now. It's loose, barely moving. Gonna hold hard on the brake. I'm gonna put it in low, and now I'm gonna power brake it. Now, if you had excessive blow by and you did this, you may even blow the cap right off the engine. But you see, this one's still looking pretty good. Let's discuss this a little more. So which is the correct way to do a blow-by test? Contrary to what you may have read on some forum or somebody told you, there's probably no correct way. You just need to learn to use some critical thinking here, some logic. Okay, if I've got excessive blow-by when the engine's cold, that probably means my rings are really badly worn. Now, if I've got minimal blow-by when it's cold, that's a good sign. I've got pretty good compression at cold startup, and therefore the engine's gonna start cold. If the blow-by increases excessively when the engine's hot, then I may have a situation where the ring clearances are expanding when the engine's hot, which means I'll probably have an oil burner. And of course, if I plug the breather and the cap flies off, that's not a good sign either. You notice I got a little variable there, but not that much. So what is the correct way to do it? I would recommend you do it both when the engine's cold and when the engine's hot and get your own baseline. 